The Story of Saint Doingwen. Back in the 5th century, there was a beautiful princess called Doingwen. She lived in a luxurious castle with her father, the King Bruchan Brachainiog. Doingwen was the prettiest woman throughout the whole of Wales. She looked forward to marrying someday and living happily. I look forward to you marrying my Doinwen, your highness, agreed the king. He had arranged for Doinwen to marry a fine prince. Doinwen was heartbroken when she found out, because she didn't want to marry the prince. Doinwen had previously fallen in love with a poor young man called Mylon de Vodrech. They were head over heels in love. Her father insisted that she had to marry the prince he had chosen. Doinwen cried and cried. She did not want to marry him. She ran away from the castle to be with Mylon. I never want to see you again, Doinwen. Mylon shouted full of rage as she would not defy her father and marry him. Doinwen was heartbroken and she ran to the forest. There, in the darkness of the forest, Doinwen prayed to feel better. Doinwen had never felt so unhappy before. In the silence of the forest, Doinwen lay on the cold floor and fell into a deep sleep. In her sleep, she dreamt that a kind angel suddenly appeared from nowhere, holding a drink in each hand. She gave Doinwen a drink to wipe her memory of Mylon. Doinwen thought it would make her feel better. To her surprise, the drink turned Mylon into a block of ice. This was his punishment for treating Doinwen so badly. By drinking this drink, you can have three wishes, Doinwen. Think carefully about them, explained the angel. Her first choice was easy. She wished for Mylon to thaw from his block of ice. Then she thought about how unlucky she had been in love and she wished happiness and love for all the people in Wales. Her last wish was that she would never fall in love or marry, as she never wanted to feel so hurt again. Doinwen's three wishes came true, and from that day onwards she devoted her life to God as a nun. One day, while she was sailing around the coast of Wales, she found land. This was Llanthoin Island. She settled here and built a church. Many broken-hearted people are said to have visited her here. Since then, thousands of people have visited Llanthoin Island every year on St. Doinwen's Day, January the 25th. They pray to her, asking her to care for hearts that have been broken, to heal the sick and weak, and to help people who need strength. The end.